गाइस द क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे इज हाउ कैन वी रिड्यूस द मैग्नेटिक लॉकिंग इन आर डीसी मोटर अगेन हाउ कैन वी रिड्यूस द मैग्नेटिक लॉकिंग इन आर डीसी मोटर गाइस विनर फॉर द प्रीवियस कांटेस्ट वाज मिस रे मोहन कांग्रेचुलेशंस Hi guys today in this video i am going to make a 220 volts to 9 volts dc supply high current 20 amperes so for that i am going to use this ups transformer which produces an output of somewhere around 9 volts with an input of 20 volts other components are this kbpc 3510 rectifier and this 74000 microfarad and 16 volts capacitor some clips and bolts now let's measure the resistance of this transformer's winding with the help of this must tool multimeter and as you can see that the high voltage side resistance is 19 ohms and the high voltage other terminal is 4.6 ohms which is not going to be needed it is for operating the relay i guess so for that reason i have removed it now let's cut a wooden piece that is going to be required for this project as the base stand Now guys I'm going to use this pin to feed 220 volts to the transformer let's see the wave oscillation ac you can see that it is pure sine wave you can buy this must tool multimeter from the link provided in the description this is a 12 volts 5 amperes car headlamp bulb that I've connected to the secondary high current winding of the transformer now let's test it now for some reason the transformer is making a hissing sound and it is not working yeah the bulb is also not glowing before the transformer burns out let's disconnect it 
so guys I'm going to remove the transformer and replace it with this one but let's check this one first and, and as you can see that it is working perfectly and it is glowing the bulb pretty good it has a 250 watts and 24 volts bulb okay let's remove this one and replace it with the other one okay testing again and it is working nice time to connect the rectifier So guys, I have connected the AC terminals of the rectifier to the low voltage high current side of the transformer and to the DC terminals of the rectifier, I have connected it to the capacitor considering the positive and negative terminals properly. Okay. Now the AC pin has been connected to the high voltage side of the transformer. Let's measure the voltage with the help of these jumper cables. You can see that it is glowing the car indicator bulb quite good now link for the jumper cables and in connector box will also be provided in the description so don't forget to check them out you can see that the voltage output of this setup is 9.15 volts which is exactly what we need 9 volts let's try and glow this 12 volts bulb with it and it, you, as you can see that it is glowing pretty good not fully bright because I'm not feeding it 12 volts but yeah bright enough same with the car headlamp bulb let's test some DC motors for which I have actually made this power supply DC power supply okay now this is a 32 amperes 12 volts DC motor you can see the high current winding let's connect it you can see there is arcing because of the high current flow and it's working pretty smooth although not much visible but yeah it is running now comes the centrifugal pump which is a 15 amperes DC shunt motor 12 volts general electric now it takes huge current because it is a shunt motor you can see how thick the cable is and this supply should be able to run it also guys polarity does not matter for shunt motors or any type of DC motors you can see that it has started running pretty good even at 9 volts DC. Cool, right? Now this is a 24 volts, 500 watts e-bike motor. You can see that the rated current is 26.7 amperes. And it is running pretty good at just 9 volts input. I got this motor from Banggood's and a link for this also will be provided in the description it works pretty good now guys this is a vacuum cleaner 12 volts 15 amperes 
and as you can see that it is working pretty good and it is for cars. I usually run it for cleaning dust on my table, working table, okay? You can see that it is working nicely. Now let's go for the bike starter motor high current, 110 amperes DC short circuit. So guys, the question for today is who invented the first transformer? Again, who invented the first transformer? Hi. You are watching channel Mr. Electron and in this video I am going to test if we can run a 220 volts drill machine with a 12 volts battery. So this is a 12 volts battery from a UPS. Let's try and test it.
So guys, the hidden question for today is who was the first person to invent a battery? Again, who was the first person to invent a battery? So guys, here what I did in this video was I took the drill machine and removed the stator winding. After that, I used two concave magnets of the fitting size and I placed it instead of the stator winding to create a permanent magnet DC motor instead of a universal motor. Now let's test if this drill machine runs with this 12 volts battery and as you can see that it is not running. Close up, you can see that the motor armature is vibrating a little bit but still it is not running. Now let's check the resistance of the armature. This will tell us the current flow through the armature. So guys, as you can see that the resistance is very high, 23 ohms, 23.5. Now let's measure the current flow through the armature when connected to the 12 volts battery and it is only 5.1 milliamps. So obviously the current flow is very low, which can be increased by increasing the size of the battery voltage. Okay, so I have increased the voltage to 24 volts, which is in turn going to increase the current. And you can see that the drill machine has started running. If we are going to further increase the battery, the speed will increase. So now I'm going to feed it 36 volts DC from the batteries and the speed is much better. Okay, I'm going to connect a multimeter and I'm also going to connect it to the battery which is going to tell me the drop. You can see it as a 36 volts but the voltage is dropping to 22 volts. Let's add another battery making it 48 volts battery pack and then test it. So the voltage is at present 30 volts even though it is 48 volts but the machine is running pretty good. So obviously even though Placing of the magnets makes it a permanent magnet DC motor but still the resistance value is very high because of which it cannot run at 12 volts with a battery. Anyone who says or shows in a video that uh, the machine can run with a 12 volts battery is showing you the fake video. Okay, connecting the 48 volts pack, connected. It's running but the batteries are draining. You can see that the speed has slowed down. Now I have connected a 59 volts DC e-bike charger. So guys, placing this 2.7 amps 59 volts DC charger for e-bike fed the proper current and voltage to the drill machine, new DC type drill machine and it worked pretty good. So thanks for watching and don't forget to answer the question. Bye.